Hey, greetings to Buenos. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Well, I thought today we would once again pick a video from at random and react to it and see if we can understand someone with a different perspective. Today, we're talking to, uh, we're reacting, in fact, to this person by the name of Von Helton and his video, I Cracked the Roswell Incident. <laughs> Should be interesting. Let's see what he's got to say. But of course, in the spirit of the fact that it is unfair to have a battle of wits with an iron man, I will, of course, be drinking myself silly while watching this video in order to put myself on the same level. Okay, let's see what he's got. All right, folks. According to eyewitnesses, there was wreckage mm -hmm. that appeared like aluminum. That's the story. It had an aluminum color to it. They, they, I think we all know the basics of the Roswell story. It's been around forever, and it's been evolving and changing since I first heard of it. I don't know about you. They kept calling it aluminum foil looking. They said it looked like aluminum foil. Yeah. One person said there was strange scratch markings on the side in an unknown language. To some Americans, anything other than basic English is an unknown language. The supposed people that were that were pulled from the wreckage were very small. Uh huh. That's the story. They were short people. Right. Now there's no proof any of that actually even happened. There's been allegations all along, but nobody's ever provided any actual proof. Not that people like this give a damn about proof. I have a hypothesis. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> and it's not going to be what you think it is. You know, it really doesn't matter what I think it is. Every crackpot attempts to come up with some new fucking spin on this in order to get views. You're probably no different. CERN has been fucking with our reality, right? Wrong. CERN is, in fact, the uh, European Council for Research into uh, Nuclear Research. Like I said, I've had a couple. <laughs> but, in fact, they run the Large Hadron Collider, which is a particle physics experiment and simply seeks to understand things at the subatomic and quantum level. It does not alter reality. This might a little, but that don't. They've been messing with alternate realities, timelines, string nope. theory, etc. No, I mean, the guy no, no, no. That's all conspiratory bullshit. There's no proof for any of that. Just because you babble it doesn't make it true. Okay, it certainly had string theory on his fucking t-shirt, for fuck's sake, okay? So it's not like they didn't know it, right? So now here's here's what I think might have happened. Here's what might have happened. I know you all have seen it. What might have happened. That hieroglyph in, in Egypt that has the helicopter on it and the jet on it. Hieroglyph? What? What the um, fuck are you talking about? Modern day jet and helicopter. In fact, it's a specific type of helicopter that's on that glyph. From Roswell to Egypt and a helicopter glyph. What the fuck? It's called a Sikorsky sky crane. I know what a Sikorsky sky crane is. I used to work on helicopters. So it's actually a very specific type of helicopter in that glyph, the Sikorsky sky crane. Very, very unique shape mm -hmm. to that helicopter. Yes, in fact, it is. And if you look it up, you'll see that it is, in fact, quite unique. There aren't many of them around. And so when I saw that helicopter glyph in that Egyptian hieroglyph, I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. So when I saw that helicopter glyph in that Egyptian hieroglyph, I had to make a video about Roswell. What am I missing here? Because there's only one helicopter shaped like that, and that is the Sikorsky sky crane. Yep. Anyways, enough of that. Yeah, please, enough of that, because like, it's not like it's got anything to fucking do with the topic of your video. This glyph in Egypt has all these modern... Jesus, I've been drinking. How drunk are you? And helicopters and what have you. All right, so... Helicopters yeah. and what have you and things. Fast forward to the Roswell incident. Mm-hmm. Please do. Let's get back to the subject. 
Here's what I think happened. Here's what happened. I think CERN fucked with our reality. CERN fucked with our reality. And as a result, a Chinese-made MiG crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. What? CERN fucked with our reality, and as a result, a Chinese MiG appeared in Roswell. The farmer who saw the aluminum colored metal, which the aluminum colored metal, which a MIG, if it was a MIG, might be made of, which is aluminum. Fuck. It would be silver colored, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Aluminum would be silver colored because it's silver colored. That's what our jets are. They're silver colored. Yeah. So silver colored aluminum ah. colored they they called it had this strip with with a bunch of uh ancient writing on it <laughs> well it's chinese. it's chinese that's why it looked like scratch because remember he said it kind of looked like scratch it said it's chinese it's chinese. chinese writing it's chinese from a freaking chinese mig all right so we got a chinese mig that fuck? crashed from the future from the future Mexico. from the future from the future, no doubt, because CERN is altering reality. So, of course, it's a MIG, a Chinese MIG, from the fucking future. Well, New Mexico back in the 40s. That's why the government got involved. <coughs> because Roswell yeah, wasn't the only crash. There were numerous crashes where modern-day jets were falling out of the fucking sky. In modern-day jets were falling out of the fucking sky. In the past. In the, the, the 1940s. In the 1940s. Chinese. Multiple incidents of modern jets uh, ooh, falling out of the sky in the 1940s. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Now, what's a Chinese MiG doing over America? Well, yeah, I'd like to know. It very well could be that there was a war going on here on American soil. I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah. what are we talking about? After Trump becomes president, pisses off China? Are we implying that kind of time travel? Wait a minute. This fucker could be onto something. But the fact of the matter is, is that I think it was a Chinese MiG from the future. Chinese MiG from the fucking future. I think it was a Chinese MiG from the fucking future. I don't have any proof. I just think it was. The military went out and secured the jet. <sighs> For fuck's sake. How do we know it wasn't Darth Vader's fucking TIE fighter gone through a fucking singularity and fucking crashed in Roswell? It, it's just as fucking likely. Fox. They said, well, Bond, one of people saying that it was dish shaped. Well, here's the thing. If you're only seeing part of it sticking out of the ground, you know, I mean, who's to say what, what they thought? Exactly. You know, like, who's to say what they thought? Well, this guy sucks on something. Oh, he's vaping there. Apparently, something. They say, well, Mom, why are you rejecting the ET UFO connection? I'll tell you what. Yeah, you know, because that's the usual shtick that you fucking idiots use to get attention for this fucking story. You know, it was more than likely just a fucking weather balloon or perhaps even a mogul balloon with fucking dummies or some goddamn thing. But no, it's got to be fucking aliens and weird shit. And apparently now, Chinese MiGs from the fucking future as a result of... Large Hadron Collider experiments altering reality. For fuck's sakes, there isn't enough of this shit. Because if the flat earthers are right, we're under a protective dome. No ET. What? What? The flat earthers are right? No ETs. No ETs whatsoever. Which means the idea of it being the Chinese. And the Chinese. Now remember, the Chinese are short motherfuckers. Right. Oh my God! They can't. Po it can't possibly be aliens. It must have been Chinese made from the future because we live on a flat Earth and there's a dome over us. Dude, what the fuck are you on? They're not like you and me. I, I would be. I would be considered very tall in China. Right. right. I'm five seven five eight. I would be considered five seven five eight. That's very tall in China. Dude, Chinese people come in every fucking size, just like everybody else. Fuck, what are you, some kind of fucking racist as well? Considered very tall in China. 
Because Chinese folks are short folks, aren't they? Yeah. Aren't they? I mean, I met a Chinese guy one time, and he was short, so they're all fucking like that, right? Right. So, when they pulled these little men out of the wreckage, these short guys, guys. because they would be to them. Well, they would be, wouldn't they? No ETs, guys. Chinese mate from the future. Crash landed in Roswell. <laughs> That's how we were able to figure out how to progress to modern Chinese MIG from the future. Modern day jets is because we got one. We oh, had one. Fuck a sake. captured Chinese MIG from the future. Was it made out of cheap fucking plastic? Because it seems to me like a lot of stuff from China is, for fuck's sake. That propelled us way far in advance of what we what we had and what we know. Now, what, what do you think of my hypothesis, guys? I think it's a fucking absolute load of shit, guaranteed to fucking be babbled out to get you some fucking attention. That's what I think. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> Pretty I mean, neat, think huh? about it. it I just shriveled the shit and people will fucking swallow it. incorporates CERN and the quantum computer. It incorporates string theory and multiverse. And it even incorporates and the Mandela effect, spaghetti. I threw it in the fridge. Maybe that was And stink. all that jazz. All rolled in one nice, neat little package. Oh, yeah. And... I think he's been rolling some of this. All makes sense. Right? And That's the key. It all makes perfect sense. And that would explain why there was such a there was such a uh, a furor over it. Is because all these modern jets were falling out of the sky in the 1940s. Thanks. Yeah, that would bother me too if it actually happened. It's just some fucking up the reality. It ain't fucking up the reality. It's a fucking particle collider, you fucking moron. It's done, it's basically used to do high energy experiments on little tiny fucking particles. How the fuck does that alter all of reality? <laughs> fucking ignorant. Fuck. I think it fits. I think it makes sense. I think it, I think it makes sense because I sat here and fucking babbled it. Witnesses say, and I think it also tracks with what the government say, because remember, the government tried to pass it off as a as a weather balloon, right? And a weather balloon is what color? That was the story originally. It was a weather balloon. Later on, when priorities and security changed, they admitted it was in fact probably a mogul balloon. Look it up, you fucking ignorant fuck. Again? Oh yeah, so. Okay, so everything fits. Everything, everything fits. fits. You know, I mean, yes, I know some people were saying it was a saucer. Some people were saying all kinds of fucking things. It doesn't make it true. You know, Fuck. But, um, Especially when, you know, these fuckers are selling books and videos and shit. You can't believe a fucking thing those people say. I'm taking, I'm taking everything tracks. I'm thinking everything because tracks. we really are under a protective dome. We really are under a protective dome. Apparently this fucker thinks we're on a flat earth. Is he one of those? Ain't no aliens, dude. Ain't no aliens. Ain't no aliens. It's just us. At this point, that's probably true. There's no credible evidence to suggest that we've ever been visited by extraterrestrials. It's certainly possible. You know, the infinite universe suggests that it's possible that there are aliens out there. But it's almost more than certainly likely that they are so fucking far away we will never have any contact with them. I could be wrong. I'm willing to adjust my opinion. Are you? Now, there might be evil spirits out there, but those aren't aliens. Are, you know. Evil spirits? What the fuck? Evil spirits are quite clearly defined. Anyways. What? I just want to know what you... And it, oh, he's going to throw out the demonic fucking bullshit. I suppose he's one of those, too. <laughs> what a surprise that would be. And, and admittedly, folks, this is just a theory, okay? I'm not... Uh, it's just a theory. No, this is not a theory. This is a hypothesis. This is a fucking bullshit story flung at the wall to see if it'll stick and you fuckers will buy it. That this is 100% rock solid. For but I'm sake. going by... 100% rock solid fucking theory. <laughs> Holy fuck. All what the all the eyewitnesses said in regards to the material they saw on the ground eyewitnesses. in regards to the dead bodies they claimed they saw. Witnesses said you know and, and, all, and you personally talked to those witnesses and discovered the truth, did you? 
I bet you didn't. It makes sense. It all makes perfect makes sense. Perfect fucking sense. And, and a lot of these guys out in rural 1940 America, oh they didn't know what God. a Chinese guy even looked like, probably. Let alone Chinese. That's probably true. That doesn't make it the fucking answer. Chinese writing. They wouldn't have known what a fucking Eskimo looks like. That doesn't mean it was fucking Eskimos. Oh, sorry. Inuit. My mistake. Probably had no clue. It, it probably did look like alien writing to him because it probably never saw it before. Right? Yeah. There goes the UPS truck down there. What, a UPS truck carrying your alien UFO or some goddamn thing? You gonna stop at my house? Gonna stop my house? Bring me another load of shit to talk about? Anyways, uh, just thought I'd throw this idea at you and see what you thought. I thought I'd throw that idea out like spaghetti to see if it sticks on the fucking fridge and, you know, people sup it up and will fucking believe this bullshit and then, you know. See if you, uh, see if it made sense to you. Yeah, I don't. It don't make any Let fucking sense. Let me know sense. what you think. Let me know if you think my idea is plausible. No, I don't I think, think it's you plausible. Know. I think I think I'm just idiot. blowing the minds of quite a few people out there. Because I know you all <sighs> Tiny, tiny, tiny little minds. Anyone beyond that that can think for themselves. I was thinking, oh, he's going to talk about little green men. No, nope, not this time. Not this time. This time, it makes sense. Nope. This time, no, it don't. it's logical. No, it's not. Particularly. <coughs> particularly with CERN fucking with our reality. <clears throat> and CERN fucking with our reality is just because you say it is. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Spirit <coughs> tired fucking idiot. And fucking with all these other alternate realities as well. Alternate realities. Makes perfect sense. You know, like the alternate reality where Trump becomes president? <laughs> Wait a minute. Now you say, well, Vaughn, why would these modern jets fall out of the sky? All the energy's drained out of them, bro. All the energy. Well, yeah, because you know that's what happens, out. right? You figure they're going from the future back to the past. That's going to require huge amounts of energy. Yeah, no that shit. That going to drop like a rock, man. Uh, Platinum's going to drop like a rock, man, because, I mean, you know, when you uh, send something through with CERN through to the fucking past, you don't use the energy from CERN itself. You suck it out of the fucking plane. What the fuck are you talking it's about? It's literally going to drop like a rock. It ain't going to have no energy. Oh, no, of course not, because, you, you know, you understand goes. these things. <laughs> fuck sakes. So, let me know what y'all think. I think you're making this fucking shit up. That you're babbling any fucking thing you think that the fucking idiots will buy into in order to get you views and probably make you some money. That's what I think. I think it's plausible. I think no, I, I don't think, think it's plausible. I think I've got a handle on this shit, finally. And I think we might even be able to put this to bed once and for all. By strict definition, it's possible. Plausible? No. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh, and the show more... Um, as you saw in my intro picture of the show more thing, um, my PayPal, my Patreon, folks, I can't continue without your support. Oh, here I we go. your support. Here we go. I'll throw out some bull fucking shit and then mention, I can't continue without your support. I especially need somebody to break that $100 a month. $100 a month? Patreon. $100 a month on my Patreon. Oh, have you thought about getting a fucking job? Um, many, many <laughs> other people have, have already done it. Many, and for a many, lot less many content other people. than what I've got. I mean, drunken you fucking peasants, idiot. what do they do? They sit around making fun of people. <laughs> and they're getting thousands of dollars on Patreon a month. Uh, I, that's because there's lots of stupid people out there. Can't you, it, It's not worth it to give me a hundred bucks a month? Come on. It's not worth it to give you a hundred cents a fucking century, you fucking moron. People, come on. Come on. If you can give a thousand dollars to a man that shoves a banana up his ass <laughs> for kicks, no less, <laughs> I think you can, you know, spare a hundred bucks for a guy like me that's actually trying to get you the truth. Oh, my fucking God. What do people like you understand or even give a fuck about the truth? <laughs> uh, as best he can. Oh, my fucking God. It. Anyways, guys, um, you know, help me out if you can. Help me out. You know, help not out, obligated to, but money. it sure would be nice. It would be nice. Yeah, you know, a little, 
A little fucking coin. A little fucking money. Seems to be what this is all about. And I suspect that most of his videos end this way. E-begging. Asking for fucking At least money. until I can get uh, something else lined up, right? At least I, until I can move out of my mother's basement. <laughs> you fucking decrepit old gum fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my fucking God. All right, that's going to do it. Y'all have a pleasant day and better tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, y'all. Holy fuck. Well, I'm afraid I didn't get any closer to understanding on this one. To me, this toothless old fucking Gumby is a fucking scam artist, e-begging piece of fucking shit. Not much to understand here other than that. Anyway, peace to y'all. Long life. <laughs>